Okay gang, I'm going to show you a motor like you've never seen before. What I'm going to show you is just a demonstration motor, but it demonstrates a switched field device where we actually move a magnetic field, a static field, from one place to another with a electronic field, just like you would do in the Bedini, uh, any of the motors out there, the pulse motors. We start off with a toroid, like right there. And inside that is a one quarter inch by one eighth inch magnet with the north pole facing towards the inside of the toroid. On that thing, on that toroid, we wind about 30 to 35 feet of number 38 wire. Just one continuous wind. All we're doing is making a field inside that core. Remember in a toroid there is not a north and south, there is a angular rotation or direction of field, but no field has a north and south. The south pole is left hanging out in the air here. So inside that toroid, on the very inside radius, very concentrated, is the north pole of that field concentrated in the core material. It looks like this in, in, a, in a more of a diagram, a, a, a drawing. You can see it like this. And up there, right under figure one, you see all those lines. That's where the field will switch. Normally sitting there, you'll see with it off about 100 to 150 gauss of a field that's reflected through there. Most of it is kept in the inside of the core. When we turn this coil on, you'll see about a 1,000 to 1,500 Gauss field. And this is a repulsion field if you have another north magnet. We do this just a standard old motor, the pulse motor. We have a rotor, and in my case, I have a rotor with eight little magnets, half-inch magnets on it, facing down, north side down. So when this device turns on, it will repulse the rotor away from the magnet. The driver circuit we used, we use, is one that I'm sure if anyone has played around with pulse motors, you'll remember this circuit using a uh, A3144 uh, magnetic switch driving a tip 42 emitter follower transistor. Works very good, switches very nice. Uh, that A3144 I think has been replaced now with an A1104. But uh, I just got some of my drawings here of how I got it hooked up. And let me walk over here now and show you what this motor looks like running. Uh, ouch. Uh, this is the motor running. Looking underneath here, you can see the coil. That's the coil. The very top of it there is where the magnet is. And when we turn that coil on, that magnet the field shifts from the inside of the core towards the center and towards the outside and the level of the north field is increased greatly and if it's keyed properly and in this case it's keyed by a the magnetic detector and the tip 22 transistor it turns the coil on at the right time to push it away and it spins I'm running right now at about five a little over five volts there. Probably that meter, the amp meter, is very inaccurate on that power supply. I think I'm running about 80 to 5 to 90 mils. It's not running very fast, but it shows the principle of this device. A switched field. You're moving a magnetic field from one place to another. There is very little feedback from the magnets on the rotor into the coil because it is at right angles to the magnet. It's running parallel to the wires across the coil, so there's nothing being induced. Uh, that's the waveform right there that it looks like that you'd see on this device. Uh, the up is on, the down is off, and uh, that's it. Uh, now, again, this is just a demonstration. Uh, you can take this as far as you want. Uh, uh, so lots of interesting attributes uh, and there's many things you can do with it uh, I've been playing with it for a couple of years and really haven't said much about it 
except to a couple of my friends. I thought I'd discovered something else the other day and got me really excited, but it was not true. I thought I could come up with a null fill device, but it did not work. But anyway, this device right now has a huge gap in it. I'm not trying to do anything but show that it runs. If you close that gap, this thing will easily on that one coil spin up to about 2500 RPM. But because everything is unbalanced, uh, the wheel is unbalanced, the forces are unbalanced with only one magnet, it will vibrate like heck and buzz like heck. But this is just a demonstration to show you a switched field device and nobody else switches a field this way. Something new, I think. So anyway, this has been K4ZEP from the world's smallest lab and I'm going to upload this to YouTube now. Toodaloo.